Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Just wanted to show you a few quick things I've been playing around with in TD Snap. This is the Core First page set. And you may notice that the colors are different. And so how I did that, I wanted a more muted, softer palette of colors, is on button editing. You just go in and you can create custom colors. And so this one, so you just play around with um, this color wheel and uh, sliders and the tones to get exactly what you wanted. And then the cool thing is, is once you come up with that color, it adds it to your custom color palette. So that's how I did that. The next thing that you'll notice is I've added some extra things over on the toolbar on the far left side. So... <clears throat> I have core, which is this page that you normally see, but then you see down towards the bottom, I have targeted core, which is just a copy of the core page. But then I've gone in and hidden most of the buttons so I could teach the locations, the motor plan for these um, without messing with the main page. So it's a quick way to be able to toggle back and forth so whatever you're focusing on uh, teaching and gradually systematically unmasking on this targeted core page, but the user still would always have access to all the words under the regular core. And then after doing that, I thought, oh, I'm going to do the same thing on the keyboard because I want kids to learn the QWERTY keyboard because that's what they're going to be exposed to really in most settings throughout school and on later in life. But that's a lot of keys to learn up front, but you want them to learn the motor plan. So I did the same thing. I added a targeted keyboard, which is just a copy of the QWERTY. And I just hit everything except for the buttons that smell, spell my name. A-N-G-E-L-A. -E Angela. And then as you wanted to unmask other words or other buttons to spell um, other things, you could do that. I would probably do it systematically to teach whatever they've already learned, I would leave um, unmasked and then gradually expose them to more. Um, I've also, on the regular keyboard, added a whiteboard from the aphasia page set. I added an alert bell. see what else have I added on here under topics pets I imported a visual scene from the aphasia page set that I liked and then under personal photo album this was also from the aphasia page set and so I tweaked this a bit to make a story about my dog Annie loved to be cozy. Annie loved to go on walks. Annie loved the mountains. I loved Annie. And it goes back. And, and there's other ones that I just have hidden right now that I could go back and make more of those if I wanted to. Uh, let's see what else is in here that I've tweaked. I love doing this kind of stuff. Mixing and matching and finding features. Uh, did you know you also, within the um, timer, you can set it to automatically play an alarm when it's finished. So you can set how long you want it to have um, as a standard time and then to play an alarm. And then when you tap on that, it adds that red visual timer bar up at the top. Let's see. What else? Under... Games. I think I've showed this before, but for those who may be new, um, I've added, uh, you can link these to the Boardmaker Student Center. So I have one for rolling dice. Five. Two dice. Seven. There's one for target practice. And you can go in and you can adjust all the settings for those. Anyway, there's lots and lots of things that you can do uh, with this app to customize it. 
Hope this gives you some ideas.